first Tava versus Sava randomized trial in younger low risk patients with severe tricuspid or bicuspid aortic valve stenosis. Tava is predominantly used for elderly high risk or inoperable patients, but with ongoing advancements, it could potentially become the preferred choice for younger, low risk individuals with severe aortic valve stenosis. Nevertheless, there is currently no clinical evidence backing this hypothesis. In this multicenter randomized clinical trial, young and low risk patients with symptomatic severe aortic valve stenosis who underwent aortic valve replacement were one to one randomized to either TAVA or SAVA. The primary endpoint was the composite rate of death from any cause, stroke, and rehospitalization related to the procedure valve or heart failure within one year after the procedure. The trial was designed to compare the non inferiority of TAVA with SAVA. The study included 376 patients with an average age of 71.1 years and a median Society of Thoracic Surgeons STS risk score of 1.1%. Among those, 270 had tricuspid AS and 100 had bicuspid AS. In the TAVA group, 72.7% of patients were treated with self-expandable valves, while 25.7% received balloon expandable valves. In the intention to treat analysis, the one-year occurrence of the primary endpoint was 10.2% in the TAVA group and 7.1% in the surgical group, indicating no statistically significant difference between the two groups. The risk of primary endpoint was similar in the tricuspid cohort for TAVA and surgery, while in the bicuspid cohort, there was a trend towards higher primary endpoint incidence in the TAVA group, nearly reaching statistical significance. Regarding secondary endpoints at one year, the TAVA group had lower rates of major bleeding and atrial fibrillation, but higher rates of non-disabling stroke and pacemaker implantation compared to the surgical group. In summary, in this study of low-risk patients with severe aortic stenosis, outcomes after one year were comparable between TAVA and surgery in terms of death, stroke and rehospitalization. Yet, it's crucial to be cautious about TAVA outcomes in patients with bicuspid aortic stenosis, especially regarding non-disabling strokes and paravalvular regurgitation.